Hello, everyone, and welcome to Lingotech's webinar, The Power to Translate is Now Inside WordPress. My name is Susie Guerrero. I'm the channel manager for Lingotech and your webinar moderator. Thank you for joining us. We are excited to have Calvin Scharfs here with us today. Calvin is Lingotech's Vice President of Marketing, and he is going to be showing you how easy and, it, and quick it is to translate your content directly from WordPress. If you have any questions during the webinar, please use the questions pane located near the bottom of the control panel, and we'll address them during a Q&A session at the end of the presentation. If we can't get to all the questions, we'll follow up with you right afterwards. I also wanted to mention that we're planning our next webinar series for the fall, but we don't have them scheduled on our website quite yet. We're planning a, a Sitecore connector webinar in early September, so please be sure to check back for the future dates, the future webinars, and um, you can register at lingotech.com slash webinars. Thank you for presenting today, Calvin, and now over to you. Thank you, Susie, and I appreciate everybody's time uh, this morning and uh, joining our, our WordPress webinar. Uh, my name is Calvin Sharfs, and I'm Vice President of Marketing at Lingotech, and I will be taking you through some slides today, and uh, we will hold, a, as Susie said, a question and answer session towards the end of, of the presentation. Um, we are Lingotech, the Translation Network. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the tr traditional translation problem. Um, translation is typically very slow and expensive. Um, it can cost up to 25 cents per word and, uh, and take quite a bit of time, as you can see in this um, diagram of the different steps for getting something translated. And, and what Lingotech does is we solve the problem to you know, make it so you can enable and create the management of multilingual content inside your enterprise application. And we leverage this using uh, people process and technology. And this is combined with our cloud-based translation management system to help you and your enterprise engage with your customers globally. So the solution from a high level is we have a content management system. In this case, it's WordPress. And we have a Lingo Tech Inside plugin or module that is, uh, is inside of WordPress. And it allows you to select content, different content types, um, posts, pages, um, menu items, taxonomies, and push or publish those up into our uh, translation management system, which is cloud-based. And in the cloud-based translation management system, you can store translation memories, uh, glossaries, and terminologies, and you can run through different translation workflows. Uh, we offer up professional translation, you can do community or crowdsource translation, and you can also do machine translation. You can do a variety or a combination of those. If you'd like to have uh, you know, one language be machine translated, another one professionally, we can support that through our workflow tool or uh, a variety of these uh, different ways. Once the translation has uh, been finished, we then publish that back up into the content management system, and it is displayed um, inside of there. Now, as you can see, this is a continuous cycle. So content is continually evolving, and it's the process of translation happens on a daily basis. You can continuously translate stuff on the fly as, as you go around in this, in this continuous cycle. So how, does, uh, how do we solve this particular problem? So everyone else makes you do it the hard way. As you can see here, you have a typical project, and we saw this earlier in that problem slide, um, where you have a project manager and a web admin that are typically working on a website. And the different colors here represent the different uh, steps for each of these uh, actors, so to speak. And as you can see, you can have to identify content, new pages, uh, Daniel, download them manually, send those off for translation, et cetera. And what, what an offline company does is only one step of this process. So when you work with other translation companies, uh, all they do is offer this offline process. Translation is in a black box. You have no visibility into the process. There's no automation or notification of process management. Each of the steps aren't notified for the next person to work on. There's no integration into your workflow, no real-time leverage of translation memories or the ability to publish uh, review the translators as they're completed. So how hard can it really be? 
Well, if you look at this and you times it by how many languages you have, let's say you have five to eight languages on your website, and you have the number of pages that you have, so typical websites are you know three or three to five hundred pages, perhaps larger than that. How many words you have per page, which is typically between five and eight hundred words. And how many people are involved in the process? So you might have in-country marketing managers or local uh, product folks or partners that are helping you manage pages in different languages. And also how many steps in your process. And then you time this across all of the time zones that you're going to do in this. It gets very, very complicated. And you see that legacy translation workflows just can't keep up. So this traditional offline method is very challenging. So too many manual steps in the process and not enough automation. So what Lingotech does in its WordPress uh, plugin is it automates a lot of these steps so you don't have to manually look at them. So all of these uh, steps identified by the by here by the project manager and the translation process are, are handled inside of WordPress. These are the different pieces that are actually as part of the plugin helps to manage and identify and, and create a, a better editorial workflow. Then the rest of the steps are the translated pieces are handled inside of the translation management system. So as you can see, and you look at the system, the combination of the WordPress plugin inside of WordPress and our cloud-based translation management system make it easy for you to manage your translation process. So let's look at Lingotech's complete offering. Uh, Lingotech has uh, an inside enterprise application. Uh, in this case, it's uh, WordPress. Uh, we then send content up into our translation management system. Um, you can use our, our global solutions to do translation, translation management, uh, pr uh, project management, if you like. Um, and then that is put back into the translation management system. And then that is, in turn, uh, push back inside of the application. So you can see this continuous life cycle of stuff being pushed around. So let's talk a little bit about automated workflows. We offer a variety of workflows in our, our uh, en engine, and the first is machine translation and translation memories. Machine translation, um, we support about 10 different machine translation engines. Some of them are free of charge to use, and some have a paid method, and we can determine based on the type of content that you have, which one is best for that. Uh, we also have translation memories, which is previously translated content. Um, anytime something is translated, uh, it is then stored in a translation memory and is reused. So if a page in your site only has one sentence or a paragraph change, those changes are tracked and only you have to translate the one uh, piece of information that's been changed or the one sentence that's been changed. We also have the ability to do community or crowdsourced translation. Um, and this is used uh, or, or can be explained by a support community. It could be an in-country marketing manager. Uh, it could be a partner that's helping you translate. But this is a third party person that is going to help translate your content and, and ultimately drive the cost down for your translation. So I'll, I'll give you some examples and some use cases uh, later in the presentation uh, to show you what that, that means. We also offer professional translation and professional review. Uh, we have 5,000 plus certified translators um, and support 100 plus languages. Um, you can use our professional translation folks, or if you have a professional translator on staff, you're welcome to use those folks as well, and they can log into the translation management system and, and do the translations. So if you look at the features inside each of these pieces, um, inside uh, are built specifically for each enterprise application. This is a, a, something that we like to point out because other companies will have a connector, and those connectors are literally just a, an FTP of, of transferring files in and out. We build these specifically in each of the enterprise applications, so they work with the workflows. Uh, the, the dashboards inside each of these have all of the progress and, and where you're at in, in the uh, translation cycle. Um, it allows you so you don't have to email any files. We have continuous translation. And then inside of our translation management system uh, is a project management tool, which has a translation workbench, which you can do customized workflows, uh, translation memories. We talked a little bit about that a moment ago. 
Terminology management or glossaries are, are great for SEO and SEM. If you're purchasing specific keywords, you can enforce that those words are being used. Uh, a lot of times companies have uh, terminology in terms of how you say a specific thing for a, a client. Um, and then machine translation. All of this is then captured, reused, and recycled, so you can use that content over and over again, and that helps drive down prices. Um, we can also do legacy content alignment, and we can also do API integration into other uh, enterprise applications other than uh, WordPress. Our global solutions has uh, content governance, solution deployment, um, business processing, translation and localization, audio, video, e-learning, and validation and verification. Each of these uh, uh, features that we highlight here are, are highlighted on our website. If you have more questions, you can go into each of these sections and see what they do specifically. So let's run into a quick demo inside of WordPress. So the first one we're going to talk about, and I'm going to go through three different examples here. Um, the first one is going to be how to just machine translate uh, your website. Um, and as many of you know who are on the um, on the call, we have just released our uh, plugin into WordPress.org, and uh, we offer free machine translation for up to 100,000 characters. Um, and this is how you would do that. So I'll, I'll describe how that works in this in this first process. So once you get the plugin installed, and we are uh, dependent um, upon Polylang, um, Polylang adds the multilingual capability to WordPress, and we're fully integrated with, uh, with that plugin. Um, think of that as the plumbing for WordPress. Um, WordPress out of the box does not come multilingual ready. Um, if you want to do multilingual out of the box with WordPress, you have to set up multiple sites. Um, using the Polylang plugin, you can actually run multiple language sites inside of one instance of WordPress, um, and, and that gives you the plumbing piece for that. Um, and then LingoText sits on top of that, so you can integrate into a translation management system and do the professional and machine translation. Our, Fred, uh, our friend Frederic is uh, the uh, architect of the Polylang, and he's also the gentleman that has built our LingoTech translation plugin. So they work seamlessly uh, together. So let's go in and show a machine translation uh, very quickly. So if you click on um, in the plugins and click on settings, and you get to the LingoTech dashboard. The dashboard has the languages that you have installed here. Um, we have some brief analytics and then some support and feedback mechanisms if you have questions or need any support uh, in translating your site. But let's say we want to translate uh, our new site into French. So we're going to click in this button and add a language, and we're going to add French. Um, and then the French site is installed. I'm then going to run over into the posts. I'm going to click on the post tab, and I'm going to click on the select all. Um, I'm going to translate all of my pages, and you can see the different languages that I have here across with these little flags. Um, and then I will click on the bulk actions and request translations. Now the default workflow inside of uh, LingoTech is uh, machine translation. So this will just run the requested translation for machine translation. Uh, we then send those translations up via the API, multilingual API into LingoTech's translation management system and the translation, uh, machine translation and translation memories are going through at this time. And then when it's done, you can see that these have been changed to uh, uh, an edit button. Uh, and when you click onto the English site, um, you can see now we have the English uh, version and we've added in into the site uh, a little uh, language switcher bar across the top here. And we can now then switch over into French. So it's as easy as that to get your site up and running um, multilingual using machine translation. Uh, you can literally do it in, in minutes. And uh, we have lots of clients so far that have been very successful and very happy with using the machine translation. In some cases, machine translation might be adequate. Um, and in some cases, people want to either have someone do a post review on that or have professional translation services. So the next one I'm going to show is community translation, and this is where you can take uh, a, a, an editor that you have that might be in country that wants to do a review of that machine translated content, or you might have a in country marketing manager or, or someone that you want to use um, as a translator. You might have a support forum or community that wants to help 
do translation. So in this case, we're going to look at a support form, and the support form is going to uh, be giving you know different bits of information to your clients to help uh, help them with your product. And so what you need to do in this case is you will add an editor um, into this uh, into WordPress and and make them an editor. Uh, they have to have an editor role or an admin role. In this case, we'll just set them up as an editor. And then when they go into the post, they have the ability to then uh, go to each of the posts here. So you can see here's the rabbit page. Um, we have it in English and a variety of different languages. In this case, we're going to click on the, on the Chinese uh, edit button. This will automatically bring up the Lingotech workbench where they can do an edit or post edit on this page. Um, they can also do a preview of the content or we'll look at the content on that particular page. Um, and then when they're done editing, as you can see, I've added in the, this word edit. They can save and close. And then that is automatically published back into, uh, into WordPress and is displayed so that you can see that now the, the Chinese uh, page that's Rabbit has this edit in it. So having someone do a post edit on machine translations is easy as that. Um, you can also you know, use different workflow tools so it doesn't publish it until it's been finished or a variety of different things uh, that make that easier. But you can see a post edit on a page is simple um, and uh, easy to have someone do that. The next one is, is to do professional translation. And we're going to show professional translation from uh, a perspective of having Lingotech do the professional translation. So we're going to look at our professional translation site here. Um, you will go into uh, into your into your admin tool. Um, you're going to click on the request professional translation button that's in the dashboard. Uh, this will take you to a request translation services bid for WordPress. And if you enter in your information here, uh, the request is then sent to our translation services team. Um, that will then contact you and uh, help you uh, do the professional translation for your site. Once the, the contract has been signed and the price has been agreed upon, um, we will come into your site um, and this is how you do the professional translation. It's quite easy. Um, you go into the Lingotech settings. Um, you go into what's called the, the settings tab inside of there and you go to defaults and you're going to change the workflow. In this case, we're going to change the workflow from machine translation to machine translation plus uh, translate, which will flag our team to help do the translation. Um, you will select the pages that you want to have translated. So you'll go to your posts or your pages and do a bulk select. Um, click on the bulk actions, send the request for translations, and then those translations are sent up to Lingotech. As you can see, they're pushed again from this uh, same diagram up into the translation management system. The professional translation workflow happens. Um, and when it's done, uh, it is published back up into uh, the enterprise application, up into WordPress in this case. So we go back into the site, and now the site has been professionally translated. So depending upon how many words and how big your site is, uh, you know, you can have your site professionally translated in a matter of a few hours to days, depending upon uh, how much content there is. So it's, it's as, as easy as, as that. So the three different workflows, just to go through them again, as we showed, machine translation, which gives you an immediate translation um, of your entire site. Uh, I showed a community or crowdsource where you can have someone that you know or, or a partner do a post edit. And then I've shown you how you can do a professional translation. Now, I mentioned earlier that you can mix and match these different translations based on uh, what are called profiles. So you could have one language do machine translation, uh, where you could have another language do community translation and say, in this case, uh, uh, French is going to do uh, professional translation. So these are just a variety of different methods and the flexibility from our workflow tool that allows you to uh, do different workflows for different content languages and different content types. So I'm going to show you a few of our customers that are, are using our uh, Lingotech inside. Um, or here's a few of our customers I can show you on here, a list of, uh, uh, and certainly not an inclusive list of everything, but these are the types of companies that are using our inside and, and translation services um, in, a variety, in our translation management system. Um, so you can see that you're in good company if you uh, decide to use Lingotech. 
Um, and I'll show you a few case studies here. Uh, the first one is called the Tizen Project. The Tizen Project is using Lingotech for localization of their Tizen initiative into six different languages. And the Tizen is an open source uh, SDK for mobile devices. Um, and it's a standards based platform that a, a bunch of leading mobile operators, device manufacturers, and silicon suppliers are using uh, for smartphones, tablets, netbooks, in vehicle infotainment devices, and smart TVs. Um, this is a, a joint project between Intel, Samsung, and some others, and, and they're competing against Android in the iOS market. Um, and so they have this uh, support forum, and their, their challenge was that their translation process was very manual and it wasn't synchronized. They couldn't keep it up to date. And they didn't have the ability to leverage any of the existing translation assets, which in this case are their translation memories. So as a result um, of using Lingotech inside and our translation management system, they were able to have a 55% uh, reduction in translation turnaround times and a 45% reduction in, in project costs overall, and they were fully automated with real-time project oversight. So as you can see, being able to see from the workbench to the project uh, status uh, dashboard, um, they were able to keep track of all of the you know, different parts and pieces that they were translating and, and make it so that they could uh, save a lot of time and a lot of uh, costs in, in their translation. Uh, the next one is Alfresco. Now, Alfresco is actually an interesting case study because uh, Alfresco is a content management system, but they're uh, using a, uh, a different CMS for their website, um, and they have uh, nearly 8 million people in more than 180 countries as customers, and so they had to have the ability to localize their website and to synchronize their marketing message uh, in a simple, scalable, and cost-effective solution. So by automating document-intensive business processes and large-scale collaboration, um, they have you know, marketing managers and folks across the world that are helping them generate and translate the content. Um, Alfresco helps customers um, adapt more quickly to different markets, and in every day, over 8 million business users in 180 countries rely on Alfresco to manage their 4 billion documents and files and processes. So the challenge was translation wasn't synchronized across their six websites. They had a manual process with emailing files. It was very error prone. Delayed content publishing in the, in the five additional languages other than English. And they were unable to track progress. So they had no idea where they were in their translation process. Um, in fact, I originally saw the way they, the method they were trying to track this, and it was in a uh, Excel spreadsheet and emailing, uh, you know, Word docs around to try to get content published or to get content translated. So what they did is they fully integrated um, and used the centralized workbench for access to all of their or their projects um, via the cloud and our cloud-based translation management system. They also used automation in the project management workflow extensively, and they were able to reduce the translation spend by 40%, uh, both in cost and time to deliver new content in all the supported languages. And they went from a three-month process to a three-week process um, in, in their translation. The next case study we'll talk about is a, a company called HGST. Um, they are a Western digital company. Um, HGST launched a worldwide website localization project and they wanted to enable the translation of localization into eight languages um, with room to scale. Um, and as you may or may not know, HGST has an unmatched reputation for reliability and offers a broad portfolio of high quality hard disks and also solid state drives. If you're familiar with those, they're called SSD drives. Um, they manage and protect a lot of the world's data. Uh, their drives rely on, are relied on by enterprises, internet companies, uh, cloud solutions, customers create a professional to store and manage their data efficiently and securely. So what their challenge was is they had hundreds of website content changes a month. So this goes back to our, our continuous translation uh, localization challenge. Um, with these hundreds of, of changes in the eight languages, uh, you know, every change uh, was very costly, it was very slow and was error prone because they again were managing in a, in a spreadsheet as well. And so their results is they were able to uh, get an ROI in the first three months of use 
and their content changes were automatically identified. Workflows were started automatically, and they were had a full time, uh, an automated real time project oversight. So we would have folks uh, on that team, you know, be amazed at the, of all of the changes they were able to keep track of in the workbench and in the project management tool, um, and and see how. Uh, all of those changes were happening in real time and, and be able to keep track of that, which they weren't able to do uh, before as well. Uh, the next case study I'm going to briefly talk about is a company called SketchUp. Um, SketchUp wanted the ability to keep their product forms. This is, again, another support and knowledge base articles up to date into nine, uh, nine languages. SketchUp, which is a subsidiary of Trimble Buildings, uh, develops 3D software for architects, designers, Builders and engineers. Uh, SketchUp was originally a, a Google product that was sold off to Trim Trimble, um, so it has you know 30 million unique activations a year, and 40% of those were from outside of the United States. And so you could see that they wanted to have the ability to help support their communities very easily. So localized content was not up to date. Um, they wanted to unlock their product community forums and knowledge-based content into the customer's preferred language and drive down their customer satisfaction scores um, and the new activations by expanding into the APAC region, reduce tech support incidents through self web self-service. Um, and so as, as you can imagine, anytime they can deflect a email or a support call through their forum in a specific language, they're, they are saving themselves uh, quite a bit of money. So SketchUp is now fully integrated into uh, LingoText inside environment. Um, and they have extended into nine different languages or subject matter expertise. They are able to quickly uh, keep product forms and knowledge base articles up to date and their customer satisfaction score improvement and reduce support tickets was uh, considerable. A final one I'll take, take a look at is a company called CA Technologies. Um, they had 24,000 documents across 300 projects in 19 languages. And they have over 300 information developers and localization experts working together. So think of these as uh, content management folks that are having to collaborate, write documentation, um, and then coordinate all of that across these, all these products, all these documents, and all these languages, and, and 300 folks that are actually doing the, the work. So CA technology uh, delivers software and solutions across the complete service lifecycle from pre-production portfolio planning and service modeling to service assembly, automation, quality assurance, project production management, uh, with solutions that work across its customer's choice of platform technologies and vendors. So CA is you know, a little bit agnostic in terms of the types of content management systems and systems they work with. But their challenge, again, was these 300 information workers and content developers and localization spe specialists had to work on 2,400 documents across 300 languages in, in 19 languages. And as you can see, the old workflow here um, where they had their MyCA support, CA.com, their product, uh, and then their new workflow, which was all cloud-based, collaborative, streamlined authoring, faster publishing, you know, video linking, all sorts of stuff that we help them manage. And they were able to do a 55% faster turnaround. It allowed their content to be indexed by Google. So uh, it was searchable on the web. Uh, you know, folks are not going to a forum to, to translate or to uh, search for content. They're going to Google and they wanted to drive traffic to their sites so they could be answering their customers' questions. So they wanted it to be SEO friendly for each of the languages. So this gives you an idea, hopefully, of these different case studies. We've talked about, uh, you know, support forums and community translation for to professional translation, uh, you know, companies in different uh, uh, technologies and different verticals and how they're using our solution. So let's talk a little teeny bit about the high, high level of, of what Lingotech offers in terms of translation in the cloud. Um, we have what we call the translation hub and the TMS. We hook to a variety of different uh, content management systems or enterprise applications. Um, as you can see here, um, you know, from Drupal to LifeRay to WordPress, um, social business software, um, Oracle and, and uh, Drupal Commons, uh, Confluence, marketing automation tools, knowledge bases, e-commerce platforms. Um, we handle all of these different types of, of content. 
And what's nice about that is if you start to use uh, translate content in one system, uh, you can reuse and repurpose that content in different systems. Um, and so you start to drive costs down. So a lot of clients we have actually are running multiple enterprise applications through our, our translation management system. And we only mention this um, because in this case, we're talking specifically about WordPress. Um, but in most cases, enterprises have two to five, we've noticed, of these different systems running different applications or different parts of their business. So being able to connect all of these together um, is very helpful um, uh, to leverage your translation memories and, and, and become you know, this translation network. We also support software localization. Um, and so that's actually the very start of a product. Um, we have a product that will hook into GitHub and also SVN. Um, if you're familiar with those. And then obviously we support up to 35 desktop file types, um, including InDesign and PDF, all the Word and open office documents. Uh, so we are a, a complete solution for you know, desktop files to software localization, to training and support, um, to marketing automation, and you know, kind of everything in between uh, to show that. We also have what we call our dev zone. Um, we have, uh, quite a few, uh, we have like 30 plus um, uh, connectors that are uh, that are currently built and we have another 20 or 25 in the pipeline to be built. As you can see, uh, the more connectors that you can have, um, the more you can leverage your assets across all of the different, uh, your content repositories. Uh, so we have a very easy open API that allows you to connect um, different systems. And we have some developers that are connecting systems that are homegrown, um, others that are building, like we mentioned earlier, we're about to release a Sitecore uh, connector here in the next couple of weeks um, and, uh, and all these different things. So if you're interested in you know, working or making your applications multilingual, um, we can certainly help you out. You can come to uh, devzone.lingotech.com, register and get in contact with our uh, integration team and, and they will help you uh, get authenticated and start uh, start making uh, your code work with our system. So that takes us to the end. Um, again, my name is Calvin Sharfs, uh, Vice President of Marketing. Here's my contact information um, and uh, we'll jump into uh, questions and uh, answers right now. Okay, I, the first question I have is, um, uh, Marta, has, I have a translation problem with make theme and WordPress page. Uh, if you can go to support.lingotech.com um, and make a request for a ticket, um, you, we'll have a look at that um, and uh, see if we can help solve that problem. Uh, you can also go on to wordpress.org and, and uh, request a, a ticket on that as well. You can use either or. You don't need to do both. Uh, another question I have is how many uh, languages do you support? Um, the system is uh, UTF-8 compliant, and I know that's uh, just a standard coding encoding piece. And so any language that can be uh, in that encoding, we can support inside of the system. Um, if you're going to use machine translation, uh, depending upon the engine, uh, some engines only do five to ten languages, um, and Google and Microsoft's engines uh, do upwards of 50, 55 languages. Um, and so depending upon which, uh, you know, which engine you use, it has different translation uh, uh, support for languages. Um, we also have um, the ability to hook in, like I said earlier, to multiple machine translation engines. Um, and we can make a recommendation based on the content type and the language, which engine you should use. Um, with a caveat, some engines that we do support and go into our, our paid translation engines with a third party. Uh, so we'd have to have a license or license key to, uh, to turn those on inside of our system. So another question is, ha does having a TMS powering the connector uh, change the functionality? Um, this functionality within WordPress, like I mentioned earlier, um, is not multilingual out of the box. It'll support multi-site, multilingual out of the box, but with the Polylang plugin, it allows you to run a multilingual site under a, a single instance. 
Um, and so that uh, connector uh, allows you, the, the Polylane plugin allows you to have one post or one page and then multiple uh, uh, posts underneath that with each language, uh, provide you a language switcher and allows you to switch and then, and then see the different languages between each of those. A lot of connectors will simply be uh, the ability to download a PO file or an XML file um, there's no uh, translation workbench. There's no project management tools. Uh, you can't see where you are in the process in terms of uh, a dashboard. And so there are some tools out there that just extract the content. Um, it is then basically packaged as uh, some sort of a, a zip file. It's sent to a translation provider. They do the translation. And then when you re-import that, um, you have to manage all of the importation and making sure that those files are placed and, and put back in appropriately. Our system autom automatically automates all of that so you don't have to, uh, to, to manually keep track of those, those types of files. And again, Marta, if you can just put in a request on that make theme, I, I'm not sure why that's not working with that particular theme. Uh, the theme might not be multilingual capable already. All right. Uh, well, we ended a little bit early today. If anyone has any other specific questions, again, you can see my contact information up here. Feel free to, to shoot me an email. Um, again, I appreciate your time today and going through our, our WordPress Lingotech inside WordPress plugin. Uh, if you have any questions, hit us up, um, or you can ask any support questions at support at lingotech.com uh, as an email address, or you can go to support.lingotech.com and, and request um, support is there as well. If you have any sales questions or professional translation needs, um, feel free to contact us at sales at lingotech.com. And uh, we will be posting this webinar up on our website by tomorrow and sending out a link. Please feel free to send that around to other folks that you may know of that uh, can use the use our services, and uh, we do appreciate um, do appreciate your uh, your time today.